Mung RPA, Mub, or Mong RPA, Mub, known as first vernacular Chankiandian Miao in China, Chinese, Chuan Qian Dian Miao Yu Di Yi Tu Yu Pinyin, Chankiandian Miao Yu Di Yi Tu Yu, is a dialect continuum of the West Hmongich branch of the Hmongich languages spoken by the Hmong of Sichuan, Yunnan, Guizhou, Guangxi, Northern Vietnam, Thailand, and Laos. There are some 2.7 million speakers of varieties that are largely mutually intelligible, including over 280,000 Hmong Americans as of 2013. Over half of all Hmong speakers speak the various dialects in China, where the Dananshan da Nan Shan dialect forms the basis of the standard language. However, Hmong Da white Miao, and Hmong Njua green Miao, are widely known only in Laos and the United States. Dananshan is more widely known in the native region of Hmong. Hmong, in the narrow sense, is sometimes known ambiguously as the Chankiandian cluster. That term is also used for Chankiandian Miao as a whole, or it may be restricted to the varieties of Hmong spoken in China. Varieties Hmong Njua Ntsuab, and Hmong Da Mub Dawb, are part of a dialect cluster known in China as Chankiandian Miao, that is. Sichuan Guzhou Yunnan Miao, called the Chankiandian Cluster, in English, as West Hmongich is also called Chankiandian. Hmong Njua and Hmong Da are just those varieties of the cluster that migrated to Laos. The Western names Hmong Njua, Hmong Leng, Hmong Dleu, Der, and Hmong Da are also used in China for various dialects of the Chankiandian Cluster. Ethnologue once distinguished only the Laotian varieties Mung Da, Mong Njua, Sinicized Miao, Mung Shua, and the Vietnamese varieties Mung Du, Mung Don. The Vietnamese varieties are very poorly known, population estimates are not even available. In 2007, Horned Miao, Small Flowery Miao, and the Chankiandian cluster of China were split off from Mong Njua, Blue. These varieties are as follows, along with some alternate names. CH Chinese name Otto Autonym self name Mung Da White Meow CH Bai Meow Otto Move DAWB Forest Meow Mung Rong D Mung DLEU Hamongi Dalu White Mung Mong Njua, Blue Miao, Green Miao, Ch. Ching Miao, Mub Ntsuab, Hamongbi Nzhuab, in the U.S., also Mong Leng, Len, Otto. Mub League, Hamongbi Sheeb. Mung Shua, Sinicized Miao, Otto. Hamongbi Shuat. Horned Miao, Ch. Jiao Miao, Otto. HMO or AHMO. Mung Du. Mung Don assumed the part of the Chankiandian cluster located in China. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) stated that the white and green dialects are said to be mutually intelligible to a well-trained ear, with pronunciation and vocabulary differences analogous to the differences between British and American English. Many of the above names used outside white meow, blue green meow, flowery meow, mong leng, etc. are also used in China. Several Chinese varieties may be more distinct than the varieties listed above. Dananshan meow, mung do, auto. Mung drought raol, mung hout lab, the basis of the Chinese standard of the Chankiandian cluster. Black meow, ch. Hey Miao, Otto, of subgroups, Mung Dlob, Mung Buak, Mub Puas. Southern Mung, Otto, of subgroups, Hamongbi Sheeb, Hamongbi Nzhuab, Hamongbi Lens, Hamongbi Delex Nc Hab, Hamongbi Sad, includes some of Mong Njua above. Northern Mung, Otto, of subgroups, Hamongbi Sud, Mungbi, Hamongbi Bees, Hamongbi Andrews. Western Sichuan Miao, ch. Chuan Miao, in the 2007 request to establish an ISO code for the Chankiandian cluster, corresponding to the first local dialect, DE2U of the Chankiandian cluster in Chinese, the proposer made the following statement on mutual intelligibility. 
A colleague has talked with speakers of a number of these closely related lects in the U.S., in Thailand and in China, and has had many discussions with Chinese linguists and foreign researchers or community development workers who have had extensive contact with speakers of these lects. As a result of these conversations this colleague believes that many of these lects are likely to have high inherent mutual intelligibility within the cluster. Culturally, while each sub-group prides itself on its own distinctives, they also recognize that other sub-groups within this category are culturally similar to themselves and accept the others as members of the same general ethnic group. However, this category of lects is internally varied and geographically scattered and mixed over a broad land area, and comprehensive intelligibility testing would be required to confirm reports of mutual intelligibility throughout the cluster. Varieties in Laos the CDC stated, Although there is no official preference for one dialect over the other, white Hmong seems to be favored in many ways. The agency stated that the Romanized popular alphabet RPA, is closest to that of white Hmong, most educated Hmong speak white Hmong, and that most Hmong dictionaries only include the white Hmong dialect. Younger generations of Hmong are more likely to speak white Hmong. Speakers of Green Hmong are more likely to learn White Hmong than speakers of White Hmong learning Green Hmong. Varieties in the United States Most Hmong in the United States speak the dialects White Hmong and Green Hmong with about 60% speaking White Hmong and about 40% speaking Green Hmong. The CDC stated that Though some Hmong report difficulty understanding speakers of a dialect not their own, for the most part, white and green Hmong speakers seem to understand one another. Phonology The three dialects described here are known as Hmong Da, also called White Miao or Hmong Der, Hmong Njua, also called Blue or Green Miao or Hmong Leng, and Denanshan, Standard Chinese Miao. Hmong Da and Hmong Njua are the two major dialects spoken by Hmong Americans. Although mutually intelligible, the dialects differ in both lexicon and certain aspects of phonology. For instance, Hmong Njua lacks the voiceless, aspirated per meter of Hmong Da as exemplified by their names and has a third nasalized vowel, a. Denanshan has a couple of extra diphthongs in native words, numerous Chinese loans, and an eighth tone. Vowels. The vowel systems of Hmong Da and Hmong Njua are as shown in the following charts. Phonemes particular to each dialect are color-coded respectively. The Denanshan standard of China is similar. Phonemic differences from Hmong Da and Hmong Njua are color-coded. Denanshan occurs only after non-palatal affricates, and is written I, much like Mandarin Chinese, U, is pronounced Y after palatal consonants. There is also a triphthong, zhe beta, u, as well as other i and u initial sequences in Chinese borrowings, such as zhe, waj, ja, wen, wa. Consonants Hmong makes a number of phonemic contrasts unfamiliar to English speakers. All non-glottal stops and affricates distinguish aspirated and unaspirated forms, most also prenasalization independently of this. The consonant inventory of Hmong is shown in the chart below. Consonants particular to Hmong Da and Hmong Njua are color-coded respectively. The Denanshan standard of China is similar. Phonemic differences from Hmong Da and Hmong Njua are color-coded. Minor differences, such as the voicing of prenasalized stops, or whether C is an affricate or H is velar, may be a matter of transcription. Aspirates, voiceless fricatives, voiceless nasals, and glottal stop only occur with yin tones. 1, 3, 5, 7. Standard orthography is added in brackets. Glottal stop is not written, it is not distinct from a zero initial. There is also a with, which occurs only in foreign words. Carat asterisk the status of the consonants described here as single phonemes with lateral release is controversial. A number of scholars instead analyze them as biphonemic clusters with L as the second element. The difference in analysis, e.g., between P and place, is not based on any disagreement in the sound or pronunciation of the consonants in question, but on differing theoretical grounds. 
Those in favor of a unit phoneme analysis generally argue for this based on distributional evidence, i.e., if clusters, these would be the only clusters in the language, although see below, and dialect evidence, the laterally released dentals in green Hmong, e.g., TL, correspond to the voiced dentals of white Hmong, whereas those in favor of a cluster analysis tend to argue on the basis of general phonetic principles. Other examples of labial phonemes with lateral release appear extremely rare or non existent. Carat asterisk asterisk Some linguists prefer to analyze the prenasalized consonants as clusters whose first element is n, however, this cluster analysis is not as common as the above one involving l. Syllable structure Hmong syllables have a very simple structure, onsets are obligatory, except in a few particles, nuclei may consist of a monophthong or diphthong, and coda consonants apart from nasals are prohibited. In Hmong Da and Hmong Njua, nasal codas have become nasal vowels, though they may be accompanied by a weak coda. Similarly, a weak coda may accompany the low falling creaky tone. Denantian has a syllabic, l, written l, in Chinese loans, such as lf, two, and lx, child. Tones Hmong is a tone language and makes use of seven Hmong Da and Hmong Njua or eight Denantian distinct tones. The Denantian tones are transcribed as pure tone. However, given how similar several of them are, it is likely that there are also phonational differences as in Hmong Da and Hmong Njua. Tones 4 and 6, for example, are said to make tenuous plosives breathy voiced, Zhou Song Chi suggesting they may be breathy, murmured like the Hmong Ji tone. Tones 7 and 8 are used in early Chinese loans with entering tone, suggesting they may once have marked check syllables. Because voiceless consonants apart from tenuous plosives are restricted to appearing before certain tones 1, 3, 5, 7, those are placed first in the table. So much information is conveyed by the tones that it is possible to speak intelligibly using musical tunes only. There is a tradition of young lovers communicating coverly this way by playing on a Jew's harp, though this method may also convey vowel sounds. Orthography Robert Cooper, an anthropologist, collected a Hmong folktale saying that the Hmong used to have a written language, and important information was written down in a treasured book. The folktale explains that cows and rats ate the book, so, in the words of Anne Fadiman, author of The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down. No text was equal to the task of representing a culture as rich as that of the Hmong. Therefore, the folktale states that the Hmong language was exclusively oral from that point onwards. Natalie Jill Smith, author of Ethnicity, Reciprocity, Reputation and Punishment, an Ethno-Experimental Study of Cooperation Among the Chaldeans and Hmong of Detroit, Michigan, wrote that the Qing dynasty had caused a previous Hmong writing system to die out when it stated that the death penalty would be imposed on those who wrote it down. Since the end of the 19th century, linguists created over two dozen Hmong writing systems, including systems using Chinese characters, the Lao alphabet, the Russian alphabet, the Thai alphabet, and the Vietnamese alphabet. In addition, in 1959 Shang Lu Yang, a Hmong spiritual leader from Laos, created an 81-symbol writing system called Paha. Yang was not previously literate in any language. Chao Feng, an anti Laotian government Hmong group, uses this writing system. In the 1980s, Nyakeng Kwachu Hmong script was created by a Hmong minister, Reverend Chervang Kong Vang, to be able to capture Hmong vocabulary clearly and also to remedy redundancies in the language as well as address semantic confusions that was lacking in other scripts. Nyakeng Kwachu Hmong script was mainly used by United Christians Liberty Evangelical Church, a church also founded by Vang, although the script have been found to be in use in Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, France, and Australia. The script bears strong resemblance to the Lao alphabet in structure and form and characters inspired from the Hebrew alphabets, although the characters themselves are different. Other experiments by Hmong and non Hmong orthographers have been undertaken using invented letters. The Romanized popular alphabet, RPA, the most widely used script for Hmong Da and Hmong Njua, was developed in Laos between 1951 and 1953 by three Western missionaries. In the United States Hmong do not use RPA for spelling of proper nouns, because they want their names to be easily pronounced by people unfamiliar with RPA. 
For instance Hmong in the U.S. spell move as Hmong, and Liab Li is spelled as Lia Li. The Denanshan standard in China is written in a pinyin-based alphabet, with tone letters similar to those used in RPA. Correspondence between orthographies The following is a list of pairs of RPA and Denanshan segments having the same sound, or very similar sounds. Note however that RPA and the standard in China not only differ in orthographic rules, but are also used to write different languages. The list is ordered alphabetically by the RPA, apart from prenasalized stops and voiceless sonorants, which come after their oral and voiced homologues. There are three overriding patterns to the correspondences. RPA doubles a vowel for nasalization, whereas pinyin uses ing. RPA uses h for aspiration, whereas pinyin uses the voicing distinction of the Latin script. Pinyin uses h and r to derive the retroflex and uvular series from the dental and velar, whereas RPA uses sequences based on t, x, k versus r, s, q for the same. There is no simple correspondence between the tone letters. The historical connection between the tones is as follows. The Chinese names reflect the tones given to early Chinese loan words with those tones in Chinese. Tones 4 and 7 merged in Mu Dawb, whereas tones 4 and 6 merged in Mong Njua, example, Lus Mu White Mung, Lug Mu Green Mung, Lal Hamongbi, Denanshan. Hmong language. Grammar. Hmong is an analytic SVO language in which adjectives and demonstratives follow the noun. Noun phrases can contain the following elements parentheses indicate optional elements sad face, possessive plus quantifier plus classifier plus noun plus adjective plus demonstrative. The Hmong pronominal system distinguishes between three grammatical persons and three numbers, singular, dual, and plural. They are not marked for case, that is, the same word is used to translate both I and me, she and her, and so forth. These are the personal pronouns of Mung Da and Mong Njua. Verbs Mung is an isolating language in which most morphemes are monosyllables. As a result, verbs are not overtly inflected. Tense, aspect, mood, person, number, gender, and case are indicated lexically. Serial verb construction Hmong verbs can be serialized, with two or more verbs combined in one clause. It is common for as many as five verbs to be strung together, sharing the same subject. Here is an example from White Mung, Yam Zu Chaj Plaz, Ne Yuav Su Muse Nrhiav Nug Xyuas Save Luag Muaj Kev Pav Hong Dab Tsin Yob Ncig Iv Chig Sam Ntawm Ne. Thing best, you plural, must go seek, ask, examine, look others have services variations what on tour the area at you plural. The best thing you can do is to explore your neighborhood and find out what services are available. Tense Because the verb form in Hmong does not change to indicate tense, the simplest way to indicate the time of an event is to use temporal adverb phrases like last year, today, or next week. Here is an example from White Hmong. Aspect Aspectual differences are indicated by a number of verbal modifiers. Here are the most common ones. Progressive, mong njua, tab tom plus verb, white mong, tab tom plus verb equals situation in progress. Tab tab tom plus verb can also be used to indicate a situation that is about to start. That is clearest when tab tab tom occurs in conjunction with the arealis marker yuav. Note that the tab tom construction is not used if it is clear from the context that a situation is ongoing or about to begin. Perfective, sentence, clause plus lawm equals completed situation. Lawm at the end of a sentence can also indicate that an action is underway. The boy went off to play because he got the bow. Another common way to indicate the accomplishment of an action or attainment is by using tau, which, as a main verb, means to get, obtain, 
It takes on different connotations when it is combined with other verbs. When it occurs before the main verb, i.e. tau plus verb, it conveys the attainment or fulfillment of a situation. Whether the situation took place in the past, the present, or the future is indicated at the discourse level rather than the sentence level. If the even took place in the past, tau plus verb translates to the past tense in English. Tau is optional if an explicit past time marker is present, e.g. nag hmo, last night. Tau can also mark the fulfillment of a situation in the future. When tau follows the main verb, i.e. verb plus tau, it indicates the accomplishment of the purpose of an action. Tau is also common in serial verb constructions that are made up of a verb, followed by an accomplishment, white mung, nrhiav tau, to look for, com tau, to chase, yug tau, to give birth. Mood Future, yuav plus verb Yuav plus verb may also be seen as indicative of the realis mood, for situations that are unfulfilled or unrealized. That includes hypothetical or non-occurring situations with past, present, or future time references. Worldwide usage In 2012 McDonald's introduced its first Hmong language advertising in the United States on a commercial billboard in St. Paul, Minnesota. However it was unintelligible to Hmong speakers due to an incorrect translation. Google Translate introduced support for Hmong Da, referred to only as Hmong, in May 2013. See also Hmong people Nyakang Puchu Hmong Paha Hmong Romanized popular alphabet References Bibliography Cooper, Robert, Editor. The Hmong, A Guide to Traditional Lifestyles. Singapore, Times Editions, 1998. pp. 35-41. Fink, John. Clan Leadership in the Hmong Community of Providence, Rhode Island. In the Hmong in the West, Editors, Bruce T. Downing and Douglas P. Olney. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Southeast Asian Refugee Studies Project, Center for Urban and Regional Affairs, University of Minnesota, 1982, pp. 22-25. Thao, Paos, Hmong Education at the Crossroads, New York, University Press of America, 1999, pp. 12-13. Shang Yuyu, Diana Cohen, 2005. Students' Practical Miao Chinese English Handbook, NPOUT NDEUDXOF GOOF LAL HAMONGBI LAL SHUAD LAL YENB. Yunnan Nationalities Publishing House, 539 pp. ISBN 7 5367 3287 2. Further reading Enwal, Joachim. Hmong Writing Systems in Vietnam, A Case Study of Vietnam's Minority Language Policy. Stockholm, Sweden, Center for Pacific Asian Studies, 1995. Lyman, Thomas Amos, Chulalongkorn University. The Hmong, Green Miao, and Their Language, A Brief Compendium. Archive. p. 63-66. Miyaki, Mark, 2011. Unicode 6.1, The Old Miao Script. Miyaki, Mark, 2012. anglo mung Tonology. External links White Hmong Vocabulary List from the World Loanword Database White Hmong Swadesh List on Wiktionary, see Swadesh List Lomation's Hmong Text Reader, free online program that can read Hmong words, text. Online Hmong Dictionary, including audio clips. Hmong Literacy, Consonants, Vowels, Tones of Hmong Njua and Hmong Da. Hmong Resources Hmong Basic Lexicon at the Global Lexicostatistical Database Hmong Text Reader